So this is a notorious area for illicit after hours designing. Keep your eyes out. What do we got up here? Looks like we might have a live one. Uh, why don't you guys stay in the back until we secure the area? You never know uh, what we're going to run into up here. The notorious local cat gang. Yeah, these guys are bad news. We've, we've heard of these guys. FEA and CAD at the same time. Well, we've got laptops in here. Hey, what's going on in here? Yeah, what's going on in here? Is that, that Caddy? You designed hey, you, you got FBA in the back corner. I want you to sit around the car, sir. I want to see your license hey, and your certification. Hey, go get him. Go get him. I've got this guy. I've got this guy. I've got this guy. I've got this guy. Forget it, guys. He's gone. He dropped some floppies on back here. Yeah, we got three on this. Look at this, right here. Floppy drives. He's a bad one. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's gone, but uh, we got his stuff. Trading cards, you got floppies over there? Man, it's the hard stuff. Serious crimes going on here, man. This is the biggest design bust we've had in years. <laughs> Probably the biggest ever. We've got four laptops, calipers, floppy drives, a couple of mice. And the best part is we caught the ringleader behind this whole crew. They're not going to be getting away with bad engineering practices ever again. <laughs> being charged for several drawing violations. Balloons are not neatly placed in a line, they're out of sequence per specification, a few labels out of order, and you're even missing center marks. What's up with that? Yeah, but the design's changed. More parts and more features are added after I started the drawings. That's a poor excuse. SolidWorks 2012 gives you all the tools you need to get your drawings up to standard. Yeah, let's take a look. First, you'll notice that exploded views are now available right from the view palette. Just drag and drop to place them on your drawing. And existing views can even be exploded from the property manager now or from the right mouse button menu. No more wasting time digging around in dialog boxes. Build materials can also now be created without pre-selecting any views. And balloons have some great new enhancements as well, right Hatch? That's right, Sketchy. <coughs> now you can order balloons sequentially. They start out at the top and renumber around the view. Notice that even the bill of materials is updated as well to reflect the balloon resequencing. Any balloon can be selected as the first item in the sequence, and the direction of the numbering can be reversed if required. A new option is available which is to insert magnet lines. Magnet line? What's a magnet line? A magnet line allows you to easily organize all your balloons on the trailer. Any balloons that touch the magnetic line become stuck. The balloons can be repositioned from one line to another. It even has an equal spacing option as well. And you know what? New magnet lines can be created wherever you want on the drawing, making balloon layout a breeze. Yeah, I hope that attracted your attention, Schneider. Let's take a look at that second oh. sheet of yours, eh? It'll get there. <laughs> All right. On sheet two, you've got this section BB at the bottom. We don't need it for this drawing. Let's delete it and replace it with a detailed tab. Uh, yeah, now you're going to have to rename all your view labels on that drawing. <laughs> oh, that's not a problem at all with Solvex 2012. Unused view labels are automatically reused, saving you a lot of bookkeeping. Take a look at that top view on that drawing, too. It's missing all the center marks. Those holes and slots must have gotten added after that view was created, and they didn't benefit from automatic center mark insertion when we created it. Well, now center marks can be added to the entire view anytime you want, and you have a wide variety of options just like an automatic insertion. Do we get to the point with that one with you? All right, and while we're at it, don't you know how much better your technical documentation would be if you were using SOLIDWORKS 2012 and 3D Via Composer? Hey, let's take a look at these new slick rendering methods. With per-pixel lighting and ambient occlusion, you can add far more realism to your models. There's also now a customizable compass that gives you the ability to change its appearance. It can match your model or any geometry that you choose. This gives you an ultra-intuitive reference point for navigating your model, and it's especially useful for viewing any subsets of your design. Yeah, Compass, you're just trying to steer me right. Hey, we even added bulb highlights for you as well. 
makes you a much more rich and interactive environment for you to experience from, and much better than your competition. Helps you stand out when you're creating assembly instructions, product manuals, even online part catalogs. This really saves you a lot of time in finding what you need. Yeah, you know, you guys are going on and on about Composer, but a lot of those things you can't do in SOLIDWORKS. Oh, smart guy, you mean like tabbing behind components? Well, SOLIDWORKS has taken a lot of cues from 3D via Composer. And like, mag like the magnet lines, we've just introduced this as well. Just hit the tab key and components get out of the way. You can run, but you can't tab die from us. <laughs> all right, all right. Schneider, we all know that manufacturing parts within budget is just as important as getting the drawings out. So would you care to explain why we found you using this? Oh man, can't we just take away his CAD rates immediately? You can strain yourself, sketchy, it's okay. We'll take care of it. Why are you using the costing tool in 2012? Didn't you go to a rollout? Uh, I was busy updating my spreadsheet for the latest stock sizes. Do I need a CAD advisor for this? Look, in SOLIDWORKS 2012, with a click of a button, you can get the cost to manufacture your design using the new costing tool. Anytime you make a change, you can see the updated cost immediately. Isn't that much better than a spreadsheet? The costing tool automatically categorizes part features as well in specific manufacturing operations, such as cuts, bends, and punches, and provides a detailed cost breakdown. And look how easy it is to try a different material or thickness. Costing even warns you if the thickness doesn't match your geometry. And by adjusting part production volume, you can even gain insight into the contribution of the machine setup costs. Isn't that great? Setting a baseline cost allows you to quickly evaluate the impact of design changes, whether it's a completely different design approach or just excluding specific features from a part, such as louvers or ribs. You can quickly see that effect on the part cost. You can also readily compare vendors as well. For example, what if I want to look at the price difference between cutting my part with water jet or maybe going to my laser cutting vendor? That's right, Patch Sketchy. Yeah. Cost comparisons are automatically captured in a report. We've got sketchy names. <laughs> Which is great for management reviews. The detailed line items make it incredibly easy to understand the impact of design changes on our production cost. That's great, but to make this even easier, there's even a built-in template editor that makes it a breeze to set up operation pricing for your in-house work, or for your suppliers if you choose. Templates also ensure that designers can take advantage of all the costing information, and it provides consistency across the entire organization. SolarWorks costing really allows you to make more confident design decisions based on cost earlier in the process. And manufacturers can get quotes back to customers faster and with greater accuracy and repeatability. So do you still think your spreadsheet is the right way to be doing this, you punk? I can't believe it all the months I put into Excel. It's been wasted. My boss is going to kill me. You're going to spend a lot of time locked in a room full of bars. <laughs> 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 okay.